saw Mr. Flush my CDs down the can. I assume this was your doing. No, Dad, for real. It was not me. Well, somebody did it. Toilets don't just clog themselves. Until one of you fesses up, everyone's grounded. But, Dad, but I can't be grounded. The convention's in a few hours, and I gotta get my Ace Savvy comic signed. Until I know who did the crime, you're all doing the time. <laughs> Ghost hunting? Elevator breaking? Pool wrecking? What happened to you? Won't even know we're here! You're all grounded to the room for the rest of the weekend. Your father and I would like to try to enjoy some relaxation time. Well, I feel terrible. Yeah, from now on, we really have to behave. What are they fighting over this time? A nickel under the ottoman? Nope, a quarter down the sofa. We better stop them before they start biting. Too late. All right, everybody get upstairs and clean the attic. It's punishment for fighting over money. No sense! <laughs> Upstairs! But that was a good one. And I want that whole attic sparkling! Even the back corner! But the back corner was my secret dark place. If you kids don't tell me who's in that bathroom, I am going to... Hey, you better tell your mom she's all out of that fancy body lotion. Flip? Flip? Is that my lotion? Is that my robe? What's going on here? <laughs> we had an accident with Vanzilla and Flip got hurt. And since it was our fault, we've all been taking care of him. But we knew if you found out, we'd lose our driving privileges. So we had to hide him in the attic. Getting into another accident is one thing, but lying to us is a whole other level. Your driving privileges are suspended indefinitely. We're sorry. Eh, uh, go easy on the kids. They took good care of me. Don't let this gruff exterior fool you. On the inside, Flip's just a delicate flower that needs tending to. Well, I guess indefinitely was a little harsh. Let's say no driving for the rest of the month. What happened to our furniture? Uh, see, we kind of got caught up in a competition. Yeah, and we kind of sold everything. Well, you're all kind of grounded. We deserve it. And believe me, we've learned our lesson. No more competing. Really <gasps> 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 awesome! Guys, we did it! We actually... <clears throat> you want to tell us what's going on here? Nothing! Nice try! You're all busted. Mom, Dad, the truth is we all had things we really wanted to do today. And so we were covering for each other. But just for a little while. And we were totally going to do our spring cleaning. Pinky swear. I know this looks bad, but on the bright side, isn't it great how we all look out for each other? Yes, that is great, but deceiving people is not. So here's what we're going to do. Spring cleaning will be moved to tomorrow so you can all do those things that were so important today. <laughs> There's just one catch. You all have to wear what you're wearing right now. So, if you'll look at the coefficient on line five. <laughs> Thank you for telling the truth, sweetie. But you know I have to punish you. You're grounded for a month. You're grounded? Wait, what's going on? <sighs> you guys are off the hook. I took the blame for all the stuff you did. <gasps> what? Why would you do that? Because <sighs> all I really wanted was to be included in your group. Then why'd you threaten to tell on us and make us do all that stuff? It was the only way I could get you to hang out with me. Lincoln? Lincoln? I've been stalling the conferences all night because I was afraid of what Mrs. Johnson was going to tell you about me. I'm so sorry, Mrs. J. And I accept whatever punishment you think I deserve. I think a week's detention should do the trick. Followed by a week of being grounded at home. <sighs> Late on day two, loud? That's another lunch you'll be spending with me and my tuna casserole. But Mr. Bohoffner, my sister Lynn stuffed me in a locker. I had to jerry-rig a paperclip to get out. I don't want excuses. So there's probably no chance I could go talk to the principal. No, and just for asking, that's a whole week with me and my leftovers. Uh... Gotcha! 
that. Ah! Big Red! Serves you right, you little thief. My yard, my property. I'm calling your folks right now. I'll straighten you out. <laughs> yes! No one's answering. Probably can't even hear the phone over all that racket. Till I reach your folks, you can clean up the mess you made. Loud, McBride, school time is meant for learning, not for doodling degenerate fantasies. This trash belongs to me now. But Principal Huggins, you can't take our comic. Oh, and now you're giving me sass. That's detention, today, till five. But we have to get to the post office by four. That's the contest deadline. Oh, I didn't realize. I'll just give it back to you. Not! So you see, because of us, Mrs. Johnson had all the wrong ideas about you. That's the reason you're date bombed. It wasn't anything you did. Well, thank you for coming clean, boys. I appreciate your honesty. You do? So you're not gonna punish us? No, oh, I'm not gonna punish you. I am gonna tear you limb from limb! Ah! 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 Ah!